Martha. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. 
Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Off him. Say a word. You. Key. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> Margaret! Come on, boy. I told him. 
was wondering when he'd show up. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Uh, uh, oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor uh, bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Miss Karen, no good? Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, come here, you maggot! Please, sir, I'm. I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come uh, to this, huh? Uh, believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. A little patience is all I require. <laughs> This is not forgiveness. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> Then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. He 
if we could just have more? Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Day's almost over. Even, Arthur.
I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. Hey, wait for me. Nice of you to join me. So you was just talking about something? If the two of us can't steal the stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. Well, you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Just wait.
Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> with pleasure. <laughs> Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. <clears throat> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost. How many years? I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You fell in front of the corner? Free. Final alignment. What? Final alignment. Your Lord God Almighty, or who, whomever built us, put our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You say your your back is covered with tricky stuff. Boy, just fifteen sessions. Whiskey suits me fine. Whiskey, it's whiskey is just causing the problem. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Damn it, they're on to us. We need to 
Get out of here. Should have been more careful. What are we doing off the road? Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Hey, slow it down. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. Get back on the path. So, here's something strange. James was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and such like. Good luck charms. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Okay, boy. Let's go. Got nothing better to do? 
What the hell you think you're doing? Jesus! If you would give me a minute, please. Clear this right up for you. You have a good one. Howdy. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? I'm sorry, Mary. I like Jamie, but you and me, after all that's happened, you're gonna have to find someone else to run your errands. Okay, Arthur. I miss you. I miss you, too. It's all in the past now. Take care of yourself. Sure.
Trelawney. Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. <laughs> 